Hello boys and girls. Now that you've watched the brain pop video, there's just a few things we need to talk about. One of them being curved surface. A lot of places like the video and in other charts, you'll see them refer to curved surface as round. So when you see curved surface or round surface, that just means it doesn't have an edge and it's not flat just like this cone here. This side of the cone is a flat surface. It's the shape of a circle. But all around it is round, curved surface. The same with this sphere. It has no edges. It has no flat sides. It has no corners or vertices. It is a curved surface. Another shape that has a curved surface is the cylinder. It has a flat surface on either side, but all around the cylinder is also a curved surface. So you'll see people calling it either round or curved surface. The next thing I wanted to talk to you about was flat surface. A flat surface is just like you might see on a table. It is flat. This cube has all flat surfaces all around it. There's nothing round or curved in a cube. The cylinder has a flat surface on this side and it has a flat surface on this side. The cone also has a flat surface. It only has a flat surface on one side. The rest of it is curved. To start the lesson, we want to do a sort of these three dimensional shapes. You can choose to sort the shapes however you like. You can decide if you want to circle the ones that are the same shape together, circle the ones that are the same color together, or circle the ones that are the same size together. Size would be big or small. So I think I'm going to choose the, the shape. So I'm going to circle all the cube shapes together. It doesn't matter if they're big, small, it doesn't matter if they're blue or orange. I want to circle all the cubes together. And now I want to sort, circle all the spheres together. Again, it doesn't matter if they're orange or blue, big or small, because we are sorting based on the shape. On this page, they give you the name of all the 3D, three-dimensional shapes. A sphere is round like a ball. It has only a curved surface. It has no flat surfaces. A cone has one flat surface on the on the bottom and the rest of it is a curved surface. The cylinder has two flat surfaces, one on each side and then round, a curved surface all around. A rectangular prism has only flat surfaces and edges and vertices. Vertices are also called corners. The cube is the same as the rectangular prism. It only has flat surfaces, edges, and vertices or corners. Here I have this chart to help you see the different parts of each shape. So here a cube says it has six faces. We have been calling them flat surfaces. Faces and flat surfaces means the same thing. The cone has one point which is right here. We also call that a vertice or a corner. A lot of different names for one thing. It has a flat surface on the bottom. It is in the shape of a circle and the rest of it is a curved or round surface. For number one, they want you to choose which shape only has flat surfaces. Look at all of these shapes on top. Which ones only show flat surfaces. 
Now it says to name and draw the shapes. Drawing these shapes is very difficult. If you know how to draw them, that's excellent. If you do not, you can just write the name of the shape underneath the directions. There are two shapes that only have flat surfaces, nothing else. That is a rectangle prism and a cube. You can write the names of each of them underneath the directions for number one. Number two says, name and draw a shape that only has a curved surface. Now we just discussed this. There are three shapes that have curved surfaces, cylinder, cone, and sphere. The cylinder and cone also have flat surfaces. The only one that only has a curved surface would be a sphere. You can write the word sphere and draw sphere as best you can. For number three, it says which shapes have both flat surfaces and curved surfaces. Please write down the names of the shapes that have both flat surface and curved surface. If you chose a cone and cylinder for having both a flat surface and a curved surface, you chose correctly. Now boys and girls, I want you to look at this chart here. This chart is going to help you answer some questions on the next page. You can go back and forth and I'll even post it for you so you can look at it on the class stories. On this page, page 635, it's asking you to count how many flat surfaces there are for each shape. Number four is asking a rectangle prism, rectangular prism has blank flat surfaces. If you look here on the chart, it shows you that it says it has six faces, again, Faces and flat surfaces means the same thing. Number, oh, they have six flat surfaces. Number five is asking you for a cube has blank flat surfaces. You can check to see if you'd like to watch the video, the Brain Pop video again, that will also help you see how many flat surfaces a cube has. A cylinder has blank flat surfaces. Remember, a cylinder has flat surfaces and a curved surface, but they only want to know how many flat surfaces a, a cylinder has. A sphere has blank flat surfaces. Again, we just discussed the different parts of, of a sphere, what a sphere has and what a sphere does not have. For the remaining pictures on the bottom, they're asking you to name the shape. Now, this is a soccer ball. If I wrote soccer ball here, that would not be correct because that is the name that is not the name of the shape. It is the name of the item. Now, if I look at number nine, this looks like a birthday hat. But I don't want to write birthday hat on the line. I want to go back. And I want to look at what shape does this birthday hat look like. It looks like it could be a cone. And you can also use the pictures in your book to help you reference. So we would write cone for number 9. Continue the same thing for number 10, 11, and 12.
complete page 636 by yourself as well. Remember, use the chart to help you complete your homework and you can also refer back to page 634 at the top to see the names of the different shapes. You can also go back to the brain pop video to help you remember the different parts of each shape. Goodbye boys and girls.